Hello there, and welcome to Andre's Artist Profile. Today is the birthday of an artist that a lot of people out there might be wondering, you know, why would you be interested in Rihanna, you know? And, to be honest, not really. I mean, she's released about three or four albums in the past five years that I gave the slip to because I only sort of half liked a couple songs on the album, but the rest of it was all very, very, very generic uh, kind of techno dance music with rather inane lyrics. And that's the problem I've had with Rihanna since she came out. Unevenness. The fact is, Rihanna, um, vocally, musically, has the potential to be uh, a very explorative and musically diverse artist with um, an interesting, um, you know, lyrical bent that might reflect on her uh, foreign background. On the other hand, she tends to use it in an exploitive manner, which I'll get into a little bit later. But this is these are the only three Rihanna albums I have and probably will ever have. And the first one is her first album, Music of the Sun. I don't even think she was 16 when this album came out. In 2005. And it has an excellent song on it called Ponder Replay, which is a great, you know, Afro-Cuban kind of dance number uh, with a kind of Arab melody. It's kind of like um, somewhat close to what Beyonce would later do on Single Ladies. And, you know, it's not a bad album, really. I mean, from a was essentially a teen star. Her next album was A Girl Like Me. Maybe a little more commercial, but, you know, from 2006, I believe. But, you know, it's an okay record. It's all right. It's good. You know. This next album really broke her through with the song Umbrella. And to be honest, I'm not always that keen on that song. Um, my favorite on this is Shut Up and Drive, but Rihanna was starting to get more into, you know, stripping, tease, you know, and I have this little saying, you know, when a female artist starts to trip, strip tease, their music tends to become much more generic and stereotypical, modern, uh, pseudo-hip-hop R&B, but that's a judgment call. I'm not making that. I'm just saying that Rihanna tended to go down that path and has really never left it. But some of the recent songs she's been doing shows that she might. And I'd like to see her explore her eclecticism more. But for now, that's all I have for Rihanna. And uh, my hope is that she continues to musically challenge herself and do a little bit better in the future. Uh, and from Andre, see all of you next time.